Hey guys, Keith with Salty Bushwhacker. Um, today, I'm going to be putting a hydrofoil. Uh, it is a SE Sport 400. Uh, the reviews, everything I read seemed to be pretty good, but we're gonna be installing this on the Suzuki 200. This is kind of a universal fit. Uh, and it's supposed to, uh, the boat, if your boat porpoises any, this is supposed to prevent that and also help your boat get up on plane and ride a little smoother, they say. So we're going to install it. We're going to test it out and see how it goes. What's good about this is you can see we're in the water, um, standing in the flats down here in the Keys, uh, and it should just be a quick install. It's a quick install, it should be. But there's no drilling, no screwing, no nothing. It's all, uh, it, it clamps on to the cavitation plate. So... We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and install this thing. So I already put there's four little stickers that I put on here, and that's kind of a, to keep it from slipping and holding. But it's two sided stickers. I got it stuck on one side. I already kind of eyeballed it and measured it out. And this is just a little decorative plate that screws on at the end. So this just sits right on the top of the cavitation plate. I kind of read through the directions already and I eyeballed this already. That's about right. All right. So we'll start with our first one here. They got online instructions also. Um, but this kind of goes through. Then there's a rubber piece that goes on there. And you can see that little lip right there. That lip fits on, so it kind of pinches on that. So you want to make sure that that's lined up the right way. And I'm showing you how easy to do this, how, how, how easy this is to do in the water, which is gonna seem great unless I drop something in the water. That's gonna look like a really bad idea. I'm just gonna fit, kind of just finger tighten everything at first to uh So babe, how do you, how confident you were that I'm not gonna drop anything in the water? Zero. Three quarters of the way there. I know. So you want to take the time here to make sure it's square because I don't know if it would really affect or not but you just want to make sure I'm, I'm sure you'll get the best performance obviously the more square it is and then it's just a 7 16 wrench so there's like a square fitting on this bolt and it fits into a square hole here so you don't you don't even need a second uh wrench or anything. Final type. They're all lock nuts so they should hold. I'll keep this wrench on the boat probably when I'm out using it just to check these at least the first five or six uses of the boat just to make sure so that's it like I said this should help us get on plane um, now I ordered a white one from Amazon I think it was like 160 bucks for this West Marine sells them 
um, but I wanted a white one because it kind of matched the motor a little bit. Usually the West Marine ones are gray, um, so gray like this insert, but this one's white. But yeah, this little insert goes on here, and I got a screw here that I got to that I'll put on to screw that in. But that's it. It's the uh, SE Sport. 400 and we got it clamped on here and that's it so we'll get this thing and run it have it jump on plane see how it runs smooth and we'll do an update on it thanks guys stay tuned Overall, I'm very happy with the hydrofoil. Um, it is jumping on plane just a little bit faster. The biggest difference is when I give it throttle and plane out, the, the bow isn't going so high. The bow is staying just a little bit lower and it's just kind of rising up and going on plane. It's not so extreme where it has to get up on top and fall over. It just kind of goes uh, normal. Um, when I'm turning uh, the performance, it feels the boat feels more stable to me. It feels like it's it's not leaning over as much. It feels like it's a little less lean over, but it's it's biting well. Um, fuel performance, I, I think I'm going a little bit faster now and getting the same fuel mileage as I was at like 25, 26 miles an hour. I was three to 3.2 miles per gallon. Now I'm running closer to 30 miles an hour and it's running the same. So that might have to do with how the boat is, is, is sitting in the water with this hydrofoil, lifting it a little bit more maybe. I don't know, maybe that's, one of the reasons uh, quick note when you install these bolts when they clamp together there's two longer bolts and two shorter bolts bolts if you look at, back at the video I mixed them up you'll see one video one bolt real long and one short so after I shut the tape off I noticed it and I had to switch them around so just be uh, aware of that when you do it uh, if you guys got any questions or concerns leave a message or write me a message in the comments and I'll get back to you on it. And uh, remember guys, salty bushwhacker, it's a way of living. Thanks for watching.